Hi everyone, so I'm a public health nurse and I'm going to show you how to do a COVID swab, slightly less painful, um, hopefully. So um, today I have a flocked swab. These are a bendable swab. So um, first thing you should know is when you first pull them out, they're sometimes a little bend. And if that happens, you're going to want to go this way. If that bend is pointing upwards, that's when you get, tend to be pulled up into the highly vascular um, bloody um, uh, areas here where it causes lots of discomfort, lots of pain, then we get our nose bleeds up there. So um, when you're swabbing, you're just wanting to make sure that you're going at a downward angle. <clears throat> so when you're going in, um, you're going to be wanting to angle downwards uh, towards the earlobe and you're going to want to go about two thirds of the way in so that you know that you're right at the throat. The break point, if you can see it there, um, should be at the tip of the nose. Um, sometimes it's a little bit further out if someone has a short face, but really that rarely happens. Usually it should be right around the tip of the nose. Or if they have a really giant nose, you're obviously not going to be the tip, you'll be a little bit in. Now the break point should never disappear inside the nostril. If it's disappeared, then it means you've gone too far down and it's probably angled its way down their throat and then that's too far. So that's why you want to see the break point um, either inside the nostril or at the tip of the no nose ideally. Um, the next thing as far as going in, um, so you, there's two ways that I used. Um, you can go straight in and there's a little lump right here at the tip of the nose. You just want to go one centimeter in to get over that, then lift your hand straight up and go straight down. It should feel just like butter. I'm right at the back of my throat. Uh, this is where you'd start to twist vigorously for 10 seconds. I don't like that part, so I'm not going to. You can pull out straight fast. If you pull out too slow, it's actually a lot more uncomfortable. So um, pulling out really quickly is um, feels a lot better. The other angle, you can start high. Now, if you start high, you're going to hit the little lump. So just get in at one centimeter, then go straight down. So. And um, now if you're trying to go in and you find that you can't get in, you're about one inch in, it's causing lots of pain, people do this, they go, ah, stop, stop. If you see their hands go up, that means that's pain. If you ever had a really bad swab, it's extremely painful. So there's a good chance that they have a bit of a deviated septum. The septum is extremely sensitive. So if you're going in, you can't get in, um, take it out, go right to the other nostril, and a very good chance you'll be able to go straight in that way. Okay, um, and that's it. Any questions, just um, message me down below.